Shalom. Kohlaimna Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem or Kankadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you on another lesson, our iniquities have kept blessings from us. So when you look at how the society has been set up, it's been set up underneath a strong feminine vibration, which is anti-Hamashiach, or against the anointed. And this was set up purposely in an attempt to take crafty counsel against the Lord's people, which the Edomites study. They understand that the tabernacle of David was set up by a male patriarch that ruled over the nations in the ancient world. So in an attempt to counter the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David, they created a feminine vibration. <clears throat> and when we study the ancient kingdoms, this is not a new concept at all. The ancient goddesses of the mystery religions, Anana and Aphrodite, Athena, Diana, the queen of heaven worship is nothing new. When we study Jeremiah chapter 7 and Jeremiah chapter 44. So this construct, this spiritual web is created to keep us bound in sin, iniquity. Let's go here. And this video, by the way, is by the beloved elder Karatazak out of Las Vegas. This is a beautiful video. And I'm right at the 1817 mark and it ends at 1917 where Tyler Perry talks about a so-called black woman the moment she makes more than her husband she disrespects her husband kicks him to the curb cheats on him commits adultery and there's a movie that the beloved elder Karatazak references one of Tyler Perry's, which is really one of his best, is called A Family That Prays, where it shows this, a black woman that made more than her husband in corporate America, slept with her boss at that corporate job, left her husband. So these are the crafty devices created under the devil, Esau the prince of the power of this world. So I want to go here, and I will copy and paste Elder Karatazak's video in the description box. So we are shaped in iniquity, sin, under this surrogate mother, the daughter of Babylon, which is the mistress of witchcraft, the mistress of harlots, America, so I want to show what they've done here. In order to rule over the Israelites, you must keep the Israelites in perpetual sin or iniquity. Let's read this. So we're going against the law under a system that has been socially engineered or shaped under iniquity. Numbers 27 verse 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits, <clears throat> Numbers 27 and 16, 
let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. So we're supposed to be led by men, governed by men. <clears throat> let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation which may go out before them and which may go in before them and which may lead them out and which may bring them in that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. So our governors are supposed to be men, our mayors men. And to be more technical, men of the house of Israel, our heads of our households are supposed to be men. Matter of fact, let's go from there to <coughs> Ephesians 5, verse 22. Marriage like Hamashiach and the church. Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Just like Sarah called Abraham Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Hamashiach is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. So the head of the family unit is a man of the Lord. Let's look at this word head. <clears throat> head comes from the Greek. Strong's G twenty seven seventy six Kephale. Kephale. The head, both of men and often of animals. So even the animals teach us what's called a pecking order. Whenever we look at a wolf pack or a lion's den or the geese that fly, they fly in order. Everything is done in order. Look up nature or the natural pecking order in nature. Persons, master, lord. So we are supposed to be treated as lords of our household, not being kicked out where we have to go and build a damn campsite to keep warm. And then our wives receiving government incentive pay to help disintegrate or dissolve the family unit. So this is all done by purpose, on purpose, by men who don't value family. They value freakisms and all types of abominations with kids. <clears throat> so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They covered the faces of the judges thereof. So they whitewash all the images of the true judges, which are the men of the house of David, the prophets, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So this is a male patriarch that we are going counter to, which helps them keep us under perpetual servitude. See, let's go here. <clears throat> let's go here first. First, first Corinthians 11. <clears throat> first Corinthians 11, verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So our women are created to be our helpmate. And I don't like to talk about myself, but to help edify the body, I will do it in this case. My wife manages the checkbook. And that helps free me up to do other things. She manages the grocery list, the calendar, the checkbook. 
and it frees my hands to be able to do other things and make decisions. So I'll just share that example as a helpmate, just for the sake of edification. So men are supposed to be leading the Lord's flock. Let's get this and then we'll go to Isaiah 59. <coughs> Let's go to Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel 34. Verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your God, saith the Lord power. So this flock is supposed to be led by the men of the Lord that we read already. Numbers 27 and 16. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. So we are operating under a system of transgressing of the Lord's word. Proverbs 8 and 3. Let's go to verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. So the Lord's Holy Spirit has been stirred up, and holy men moved by his Holy Spirit. And this is how we're able to prophesy, teach the word, and preach, and to be instant, in season, and out of season. So we are separated from the Most High because of transgressing his word, which is the law. Notice the title, <clears throat> Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated you and your God. Let's read it again, Isaiah 59 and 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. See, and this is why we are still under the curse, because Without the intercessor, without spiritual interference being ran from on high through Yahweh Shai, we will stay under this slave system that is a socially man-made engineered tool or apparatus to keep us in perpetual sin. And the habitation of sin is bondage. So I will copy and paste this video because every time I play a video, YouTube flags it or takes it down. And I, this video here, this, what he says is very heavy at the 1817 mark through 1917 mark. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwame Yashorala and Abad Babal. We got next, Lord willing. Barack Thumb, Shalom.